if Vito B wins in presidential election petition court, I will personally bring Nigeria down. Asari Dokubo declares. Asari Dokubo is a former Niger Delta militant who has been talking too much since he visited Bola Metinobo in the presidential villa. Be like say he can't get one wine when they give up. When they make them, just they talk, they talk, they talk. <laughs> Maybe this is one of the reasons why uh, they said Tinubu has bowed all the Niger Delta milit ex militants, uh, can I say ex agitators from Masoro? Because it seems that uh, Bola Metinubu is no longer comfortable with, with him, with the way he's talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to to uh, share. Don't forget to like. Thank you. The former Niger Delta militant Asari Dukubo has declared that if Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, wins the win in presidential election tribunal court, he will personally bring Nigeria down. Well, we don't know how he's going to do this, but uh, don't also forget that he has unveiled his private army. He said uh, they are working for Bola Tinubu, who is the Nigerian president, and uh, that very day he made that announcement. He even said that this is Bola Tinubu's turn, that uh, anybody who wants to challenge Bola Tinubu, you know, is challenging them. And he also advised them, he said, Bola Ame Tunubu's enemy, and you know who he's referring to, that this is Tunubu's turn, they should wait for their turn and all that. Now, don't come talk another one. Maybe this is the reason why presidency has said they don't ban all uh, Niger Delta ex agitators from Asoroko. But there is something I am not comfortable with. Because I feel that. To me, you know, say people, when they think differently, me and they feel same. They just talk this thing because of the way Asari the Kubo they talk, make it come be like, say, uh, Tinubu, not they know what thing they talk or his actions and all that. Let me tell you, there is no how Asari the Kubo will unveil a private army without Tinubu uh, being aware of it. There is no way that cannot, in fact, that will not be talk. So, not be now they won't begin the talk because people are saying that the way Nigerian government is keeping quiet with all this talk, talk and all that. Now, so it sees in such evil people. You understand? Not be smarting. And all the calls by Nigerians to make sure that Asari Dokubo was investigated, nothing was done. Now, today, Maybe because of this one, when they talk, so when I know say they said, uh, according to Jackson Day, a journalist, he said the the presidential election tribunal court will deliver judgment this week, but they have not actually fixed the actual date. And according to him, he said they not want fixed date like that. Maybe if the the judgment, then uh, tomorrow they go just. Invite Peter Obi and uh, Atiku Abubakar like that. Now they won't do it because they don't want problem. Maybe they don't want make people, you know, gather the courts and all that and all that. You understand? Now, the couple don't come out again because they talk say if Peter will be wins in the presidential election petition court, that he personally will bring down Nigeria. We don't understand what he mean by that. I'm saying that again. But make una see the games when then they play. They say Tunubu bars ex Niger deterrent, uh, Niger deterrent agitators from Aso Rock. Naso presidency talk today. They say request for costly visits by notable militant leaders and ethno militants from the oil rich region to. Tinubu in the villa have lately been disapproved by the presidency. They won't give, they won't give reason. When I go see the reason when they give. And they know in any way talk say, Asari Dokubo, with waiting he don't talk and all those things when he don't do. 
that the DSS should invite him and all that. That is where I am really, you know, consigned of. They said there are strong indications though, that President Bola Meg Tinubu has bowed all ex Niger Delta militant leaders from visiting him in the Aso Villa already. The leadership land that requests for a costly visit by notable militant leaders and uh, ethnic uh, militants from the oil rich region to Tinubu in the villa have lately been disapproved by the presidency. It was gathered that the decision was taken in the aftermath of the visit to Tinubu, that is the Kubo's visit to Tinubu, by the leader of the defunct Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force, Alaji Asari Dokubo, on June 16 this year. Asari Dokubo, a die-hard and staunch supporter of Tinubu, backed and supported the president in the run-up to the 2023 presidential election. It was also gathered that Tinubu, in ordering the action, was disturbed by public utterances and actions of Asari Dokubo in the aftermath of his visit to him, days after he assumed the mantle of leadership of the country. Leadership learned that Tinubu was bothered that all vibrant vibrations and militant activities of Asari Dokubo in the Niger Delta were subsequently linked to him after the June audience with the notable activists. As he stepped out of the villa, Asari Dokubo, in a chat with the State House re reporters, took on the took on the armed forces, accusing personnel of being neck deep in economic sabotage, especially crude oil thieves and vandalization of oil equipment in the region. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.